Hey, Danny Smith here. I'm in the middle of doing my tear down and rebuild video. I decided I needed to put the bearings in my new, in my engine in the middle of it. So I'm kind of jumping ahead and gonna be doing a bearing install in my Novorossi Benito engine. This engine has got about 15, 20 tanks run through it. So it's somewhat new in really good shape, really strong. But I've been selling these j &T bearings and I've had a couple of people ask me about the engine bearings and I haven't tried them yet. So I got me a set of ceramic bearings from j &T, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I changed it. So first I've got this little washer, this Buku washer that goes under the collet and take that off. Then I'm going to remove the glow plug. I use a R&B tool that I've had a while. You'll notice I've got a lot of R&B tools left over from when I ran for R&B USA. The first, well, before I did this, cleaned the engine off real good, sprayed it down and blew off as much, some brake cleaner in here around the glow plug, clean it real good and then blow it off real good so there's no dust. You don't want any dust getting in there after you take that off. So next, we'll take the, uh, the head off with the uh, RB engine screwdriver. Four screws come out fairly easy. I take them on and off in a crisscross pattern. Probably doesn't matter much, but that's the way I do it. Now, I'm going to take the button off. Sometimes these can be stuck pretty good. Don't want to pry much. Well, this one comes out fairly easy. Be careful because there's a pin in there. It locates the sleeve, and this sleeve is coming out with the button. Usually that doesn't happen. You see there's a notch right there that goes in the pin on the engine block. Set that aside. Um, so now I'm gonna pull the back plate off. Now make sure the piston is up at top dead center because uh, when you go to pull this plate off, the skirt can grab this back plate. So the screwdriver is a little big these if this video and my last video have my lovely assistant, Lisa, hit chick, helping me. Mm -hmm. not, you see, I'm not in my trailer. I'm at home because I don't have any cool, fancy, dancy way to hold my phone yet. So I'm having to have this fancy wife that holds it for me temporarily. Hello, Al. <laughs> okay, so I almost got these out. She told me I had 15 minutes, so I'm gonna see can I do that. <laughs> okay, so now I make sure the piston's up. And I think this will come out. Sometimes these are a little stubborn. I've had this in a part lately, so it come out fairly easy. Um, see this, the skirt can get caught in here, if you've got it down, that's why you want to put it up at top dead center. So then you can you can uh, grab the piston and rod and pull the rod off. 
drop it out. That's so cute. <laughs> so, so now all I gotta do is push the crankshaft out. And this is a this is a no a no Rossi Benito engine completely stock. I don't do any mods to it. I used to mod all my engines and you can make crazy power, but these things come with more power than you need anyway, so I haven't done that in the last several engines. Have they lasted longer? No, they always last a long time. So okay, I'm gonna put a little heat in it. I got my heat gun over here. Now I'll get it real hot, just a little heat so it's not cold. The thing expands a little bit. Especially if you had it sitting out in the cold weather. Might make the bearings a little slow. Don't go too far. So I'm gonna use my handy dandy hoodie tool kit for bearing removal kit. First, you're gonna pull the front bearing out. Use this piece. So you got these two pieces going here. They go in through the back. And this piece here, you simply screw this down. It'll Push the bearing out here, it popped, that's it's releasing and it's pushing it through, pulling it out right now. You'll feel it release just like that. And there you have that bearing. Now this one. Can't say that I remember. I'll wipe this off. Gotta go. You want to make sure you don't get any dirt or anything inside for sure. Got to have clean towel and everything. There's a lot of oil right here. I'm doing this right. Take note, he's reading instructions. I'm looking at the pictures. <laughs> okay, so this piece goes inside and expands. Get it past the bearing. And this piece. No, I didn't get it far enough. This piece expands and grabs the bearing. You gotta grab you pull it counterclockwise and it pulls it on out. There you have it. Yeah, here's that thing. You see this bearing, this piece here, you see the ball side is going to be what's facing out the back. That's how you're going to put your new one in. Okay, and I don't remember. 
installing the rear bearing. Probably the thing looks good and we'll give it a little more heat. Get some fishing put it back in. I say nothing crazy. I can't get I can't get fool with it if I get so hot I can't touch it. So. Installing the front and rear bearings. Let me go back to this tool. You don't have this one. And you go with the ball side. Facing out the back. And that's going to go in here. And your front bearing. It's going to be with the seal out, of course. Then we're going to go this piece backwards. And screw it down. Wait a minute. That's right. It's gonna hold the front. Turn the back. It's gonna put both both bearings in. At the same time. You'll feel it fully seat. Break it loose. Take it out. And there you have it. There's the bearings in it. So we'll start putting it putting it back together. Right, make sure it's all in there right. Nice and seated. I'm going to put my crank back in. I like to feel it, make sure it all feels good. Ooh, it feels smooth. You know, with the old bearings, you feel a little bit of resistance. There's a considerable amount smoother with the new bearing. Okay, so. Now I've got that, I'm going to put my piston back in. It's going to go with the skirt facing the exhaust side. Looks like it came out. Let's push it down to where the rod goes on the crank pin. Wrist pin, whatever you want to call it. And I'd like to go ahead and Put the button on first. I'm just going to leave that sleeve it's in position. It's got a spot there with three dots and an arrow pointing towards the exhaust. And remember your notch for your pin has to line up. So slide it around the piston. Now I'm going to drop the piston down a little as I go down. And as I get it close down there, I'm going to roll the piston down and the shaft in the sleeve a little bit. You should get that lined up before you get it on your pin. Make sure you line up with your holes. And then Probably should have put my, my back plate on first so I can roll it down. Roll it back down to the bottom. Line it all up. Now I can put my 
back plate screws back in. I don't use any Loctite on these. Never have. I just got a good feel for what torque it gets. I leave it at that and I've never had a problem. JQ says give it a little. Screwdriver does not quite fit right. Okay, so now I'm down to putting my head back on. Cooling head. Okay, now let's put my. I'm gonna change the glow plug, but I'm just gonna put this this one back in there to seal the hole up. And I'll put my washer back on here so I don't forget. I'll check that later when I do my clutch. Anyway, there you have it: ceramic J and T bearings in a Benito engine. Uh, thanks for watching, and make sure you check out the podcast, the Voice RC Podcast. Uh, like I said earlier in the week, we won't have one this week, but because John's out of town with a sick mom, so uh, next week, stay tuned, and we should have one ready to go.